Welcome to your practice. As you're ready, find your way onto your hands and knees in tabletop position. Bring your knees together to touch, your big toes together as you send your butt back onto your heels. Lower your left ear to the earth, temple to the mat, bring your arms down by your sides, palms face up. Close your eyes. As you bring your awareness to your breath, Breathe in and out of your nose. And with your left ear to the earth, see if you can hear any message from Mother Earth as you connect to the foundation of your yoga mat. Stay close to the ground as you lift your head, look to your left, right ear, right temple to the mat. Listen to any messages from the earth. Lift your head, bring your forehead to the mat. Breathe in and out of your nose. Slightly restrict the back of your throat as you connect to the ujjayi breath. And as you fold forward, gaze inward. And come to the very basic intention, purpose for why you practice. This is your anchor point your root to your why. Begin to reach your arms forward, hands in line with your shoulders. Rise up into table pose. Emphasize your awareness to the foundation. Root down through all ten fingers, the knuckle of your hand, the palm of your hand. Press the tops of your feet into the earth, knees to the mat. From the stability and security of your hands and feet, Stack your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees, with the awareness of your limbs. As you grow from the earth, you rise up into table, long spine. Inhale, cow pose, open your heart, lift your chest. Exhale, cat pose. Tuck your chin, round your spine. Link your breath to your movement. Stay connected to the foundation. Even as we move, deeply connected to the foundation of the earth. Things are starting to move, but you're still rooted down into your mat. Inhale, neutral spine. Curl your toes under, press your hips up and back. Downward facing dog, remember the feet and the hands to anchor you into the earth. Wrap your forearms towards one another as you spread your shoulders across the back. Lift your sitting bones to the sky, melt your heart towards your thighs as you bend your knees, come into a pouncing-like position. Inhale, look forward, step forward in between your hands. 
hands, feet hips distance apart. Place your hands onto your shin bones below your knees. Inhale, flat back, reach your heart forward. Keep your gaze towards the ground. Awareness into the foundation of your feet. Root through all four corners of your feet. Lift your 10 toes. Keep the feet rooted as you lower the toes towards the earth. From the stability of your legs, stack your hips over your ankles. From your hip bones, lengthen through the shoulders as you extend through the crown of your head. Ardha Uttanasana, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees, place your hands under your shoulders, step back, downward facing dog. What does it mean for you to feel grounded, connected to foundation? Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step your right foot forward in between your hands, low lunge. Lower your left knee down onto the earth, top of your left foot to the mat. Press down through your legs. The legs like the trunk of a tree. Inhale, arms up like the branches continue to rise. From the stability of your legs, expand your limbs, your arms, look forward. Inhale, lower your right hand towards your right hip, reach your left arm high. Exhale, stretch over towards your right. Lower your right fingertips towards the earth. Inhale deeply through the left side of your body. Tone your belly, reach your right arm up. Place your hands to the mat, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step through, low lunge. Right knee lowers, top of the right foot to the mat. Feel the earth below you. Grounded, safe, secure. Inhale, expand. When we feel safe in our bodies, we're able to expand and reach out, maybe into that space that's slightly uncomfortable. But we remember that the foundation of who we are is stable. Big breath in. Exhale, stretch over towards your left. Lower your left fingertips towards the earth. Inhale, reach your right arm up and overhead. Big breath down through the right side body. Tone your belly. Inhale, reach your left arm to the sky. Place your hands to the mat. Step back. High plank pose. Push up like position. Stack your shoulders over your wrists. Extend your heels back, heels over the balls of the feet. Lower your knees down onto the mat, table pose. Inhale, lift your heart forward and through. Exhale, bend your elbows back towards your ribcage, lower to your chest and your chin. Look forward, butt bones to the sky. With your toes curled under, slide forward onto your belly. Press the top of the left foot into the mat. Lift your right leg up and back. Place the right foot down. Switch sides. Left leg reaches up and back. Tops of the feet to the floor. Spread your fingertips underneath of your elbows. Gaze down. Tone your belly. Press down through the pubic bone, through the tops of the feet. Active legs. Inhale. Lift your heart. Gaze forward. Exhale. Look over your right shoulder. Gaze towards your right heel. Exhale, lower heart towards the earth, chin to the mat. Activate your legs, tone your belly, inhale, rise, look over your left shoulder, back towards your left heel. Exhale, lower, chin towards the chest, forehead to the earth. Press through your palms, lift up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward, exhale, step your right foot forward, warrior one. Back left heel to the earth, straight through your legs, inhale, rise up, arms to the sky. Back left foot at a 45 degree angle, right knee over right ankle. We find the foundation of our feet, and from that place we rise. Shoulders over hips, palms near one another, look forward, Virabhadrasana one. 
fluid breath. Straighten your right leg, hands to your hips. Press down through your legs, inhale like a branch. Reach through the crown of your head, get a little taller. Exhale, thighs back, heart forward, fold, pyramid pose, Parjwaksanasana. Sprinkle your fingertips to frame your right foot. Inhale, halfway lift, reach your heart forward, gaze to the mat. Exhale, bend your elbows, tuck your chin, fold over your front right shin. Draw your right hip back, reach your left hip forward. Begin to integrate your shoulder blades towards the spine as you maintain a long upper back. If you want to feel more sensation here, lift your right foot off the ground. Point your right toes towards your face. Bend your right knee, place your right foot to the floor. Hands to the earth, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, warrior one. Left foot forward, right heel to the earth. Root down, strong, secure legs into the mat. Knees forward as you breathe in and out of your nose. When you feel safe and secure in the foundation of your life, your security needs are met. You have food, health, and food to eat. Hands to your hips, straighten your left leg, inhale length. A home to come home to. Exhale, fold. There's a difference between having a house and having a home. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, hinge from your hips. Healthy, strong relationships. Abundantly bringing in income to support your needs and wants. What does stability and security look like for you when you have the basic needs met? Option to go deeper, straighten your left leg as you point your left toes towards your face. Bend your left knee, place your left foot to the floor. Hands to the earth, step back, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Lower your left knee towards the earth, kickstand your left toes out to the side, point your right toes towards the long edge of your mat, open your right foot out. Here, walk your left foot in, stack left shoulder over left wrist. Stability in your foundation, left hip over left knee. From the outer edge of your ankle, reach out through your right fingertips, look overhead. One long line of energy through your right side body. Look down towards the earth. Come back, tabletop position. Straighten your right leg back behind you. Point your right toes towards the mat. Reach your left arm forward, left thumb to the sky. Stay here or option, bend your right knee, reach your left hand back. Lift your right knee to the sky and if possible, left hand grabs the inside of the right foot. Kick your foot into your hand as you reach your heart and your chest forward. There's different layers to your tree that blossoms and blooms. This posture can look so many different ways, depending on the day and where you're at in your practice. Simply observe, modify to this moment. Slowly release back into tabletop position. Kickstand your right toes out to the side, side plank. With support of your right knee, sweep your left arm up and overhead. Reach out and through the left fingertips. Stay connected to the core, strong, fluid breathing.
Return back to center, tabletop, left hand comes down, left knee comes back. Switch sides, lateral table, reach your left leg back, your right arm forward, turn the thumb to the sky, gaze to the earth, find a drishti. Option here, reach your right arm back, bend your left knee. Go even deeper if it's available to you, right hand grab the inside of the left foot. Kick foot into the hand, expand your heart, gaze forward as you lift your chin. From the base of your spine, the stability, security in you, rise through your chest, open your heart, speak your voice. As you gaze forward through the inner third eye, your wisdom, your inner knowing, trust. Slowly release table pose. With the toes curled under, glide your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take three steps forward with your feet, come to the middle of your mat. Hands to your hips, inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Root down through the foundation of your legs, tone your belly, rise all the way up to standing. Tadasana, mountain pose. Bring your feet hips distance apart. Shift your weight over into the left leg, right toes to the side, kickstand, arms out, gaze forward, breathe. Press down through your left foot, lift your right foot up to the inside of the calf. Lift a little higher without the hand at first, place your right foot to the inside of the left thigh. Now, depending on where you are today, the foot may be on the calf or above the knee joint completely to the inner thigh. Arms out to the side. Hug towards the midline. Press your foot into your leg, your leg into your foot. Option to reach your arms up alongside the ears. Bring your pointer finger and your thumb together to touch. And then, as if your external world is really shaky and wobbly, everything you thought wasn't going to happen, happened. And now you are swimming with your arms. Smile with your face and just play here with the dance, but you're still rooted through the leg and other days you might topple and fall over and that is normal, that's human. But we come back to the foundation, the root. Hands to the heart, right foot to the floor, release. Stand tall, Tadasana, mountain pose. Shift. Weight to the right leg, tree pose, second side. Without the help of the hand at first, and then if you need a little bit of support, there's nothing wrong with supporting yourself in times where things are shaky and wobbly and where nothing seems certain because nothing actually is certain. We find the dance and let it be Whatever it is for you, stay connected to your breath. And then find a sense of stillness, reconnect back through that rooted right leg. As you lower the hands, left foot to the earth, feet hips distance apart, close your eyes. Stand tall, heart lifts, feet into the earth. Open your eyes, open your feet wider than your hips, about mat's distance apart. Turn your heels in, toes out, and begin to lower your sitting bones down towards the earth. Place your hands in front of your heart, palms together. Look down, heels in, toes out. Look side to side, elbows to knees, knees to elbows. Lengthen, sacrum to the earth, top of your head to the sky. Bring your awareness to the very base of your spine. Begin to breathe through a light red light. From the earth, breathe a red light through the base of your spine. If 
this pose is intense for you, you can always sit on a block or a stack of books. From the anchor of the base of your spine, open your eyes, bring your hands back behind you, and sit onto your butt. Bring the soles of your feet together, heels towards you. Press the feet together, Baddha Konasana, butterfly. Hands onto your ankles, lengthen through the sides of your body, tuck your chin. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, elbows back, heart towards your toes, tuck your chin slightly. If possible, use your elbows to press your thighs towards the earth as you open your knees out towards the sides. Close your eyes and bring your awareness to the base of your spine. From the earth, breathe through a light red light. Connect to the muladhara root chakra and feel a sense of stability, security as you breathe through this energy center connected to the earth. Good. Inhale, rise. Shoulders over the hips. Straighten your left leg out in front of you. With your right foot, bring it to the inside of your left thigh. Right knee out to the right. Option here, if you have the support, you can always place a, a blanket, a pillow, or a block underneath of your right knee. Working to press your right knee down towards the ground, stack your shoulders over your hips, flex your left toe towards your face. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, lower your fingertips to frame your left leg. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, hinge forward from your hips, tuck your chin. Draw your left hip back. Reach your right hip forward, Janusha Shasana. Seated forward, fold, long upper body. Inhale, rise. Straighten your right leg, bend your left knee. Seated forward fold, second side. Adjust your hips as you need. Hug to the midline, press your left foot into your right thigh and your right thigh into your left leg. Inhale, extend your arms towards the sky. Branches to the tree, reach and expand. Exhale, fingertips to the outside of the right leg. Inhale, reach, lengthen long. Exhale, hinge from your hips. Right hip back, left hip forward. Left leg is active and strong. Belly active, heart open. With the core engaged, inhale, rise. And exhale, fold over. Maintain here for a couple breaths. Inhale, rise back up. Straighten your left leg out in front of you. Flex your toes towards your face, extend your heels forward as you place your hands by your hips. Press down through with the fingertips, the stability of your arms as you extend through the crown of your head, long upper body, Dandasana staff pose. Soften and relax. Bend your left knee. Bend your right knee, place your right foot to the floor. Grab onto the back of your right thigh, the back of your right ankle rather, up towards the foot. Bring your shoulders over your hips. Lift your right leg towards your face as you extend up through the right heel, long neck. Bring your left hand to the outside of your right foot. Keep your shoulders over your hips. Inhale, exhale, open your right arm out to the right, right thumb to the sky. Keep your right leg active and your heart open. Right hand comes back over the left forearm. Lift your right leg higher, look up. 
Bend your right knee, lower your right foot to the mat. Switch sides, extend your right foot forward and your left foot forward. Bend your right knee out to the right. Lower the sole of your left foot to the mat. Grab onto the back of the ankle, lift your left leg. Extend through your chest as you move your shoulder blades towards your spine. Lift up and out through your left heel. Left toes flex towards your face. Left heel reaches out and away from you. Continue to breathe in and out of your nose. Place the right hand to the outside of the left foot. Inhale. Exhale, open towards your left, left thumb to the sky. Inhale back to center, left arm over right forearm. Lift your left leg as high as you can. Draw your gaze towards the ceiling above you. Stay anchored into the earth below you. Bend your left knee and lower your left foot to the earth. Lift your right knee and walk your feet forward. Come to about the middle of your mat as we prepare to lower back. Grab onto the back of your thighs. Shift your weight back. Hug your elbows by your ribcage. Lift your heart. Look forward. Stay deeply connected to your breath here as you hug your knees and your toes together. Shins parallel to the earth. Keep supported with the hands or option to float your arms by your sides. Palms face up. With hands out to the side or back behind your thighs, option to lift your legs. Straighten your legs, hug your toes and your heels together. And we'll exhale slowly, lower down to the earth, hover above. And then lower all the way to the yoga mat, palms up. Mini Shavasana here, allow your body to rest. Bend your knees, place your feet onto the floor. Walk your elbows right by your ribcage, turn your fingertips to the sky, palms near one another. Press through all four corners of your feet. Shoulders, elbows, feet into the mat, inhale, lift your hips. Activate your calves, hamstrings, and thighs. A gentle softening of your glute muscles. Use your legs. Press through your left foot. Reach your right leg to the sky. Stay stable in your foundation. Your elbows, shoulders, left foot. As you grow, reach through your right toes. Good. Bend your right knee. Lower the right foot to the floor. Switch sides, lift your left leg up, expand past what was possible as you feel the safety and security of your lower body on the mat. Reach through your left toe. Lower your left foot to the mat. Press down through your feet, your elbows, your shoulders, lift your hips up. And from the roof of your mouth, send your thighs forward. And from the roof of your mouth, tilt your head back, throat is open. Exhale, slowly lower your hips to the earth. Bring your knees in towards your chest. Stretch your arms out to the sides, palms face down. Knees are right over the hips. A natural curve in the low lumbar spine. Press through your shoulders and your hands. Breathe into that space in your low back and lumbar spine. Lower your knees to the right. Don't let them touch the ground. Keep your knees lifted as you hug your toes and knees together. Come back to center. Lower your knees to the left. Come back to center. Go right. Let the knees hover. Come back to center. Go left. Come back to center. Let your knees lower all the way to the right. Right hand to the outer edge of your left thigh. Look over your left shoulder.
slowly come back to center. Place your feet to the floor, adjust your hips back, and lower the knees to the left. Left hand to the outer edge of the right thigh, look to your right. Slowly release your way back to center. Straighten your arms and your legs towards the sky. In like noodles or a branch that just endured a heavy storm, sagging there. Yet you feel the trunk, your back on the earth, and you know that you're safe. Bend your knees, place your feet to the floor, slide your arms down, slide your legs forward, heels and toes out, lower your arms down. Forehead, cheekbones, jaw, relax. Arms rest into the mat. Legs are heavy. Allow your entire body to rest here on the mat. There's nothing more for you to do now but to simply allow your body to rest upon the earth. Relax. No more control of the breath. Let the breath be natural. With your awareness to reside within your heart space. Remember that you are safe, secure, and grounded and that you have the stability and the strength to endure any storm. Remember the foundation of who you are. Feel the physical structure of your body and know that you are supported and held. And even when the external world outside of you seems uncertain, shaky, and wobbly, you have what it takes. Stay here as long as you have. Namaste.